on this computer. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. That's right. So there oh, real quick. Let me go. Let me shut the door real quick. All right. All right. Whoa. Snowed in. Composition blend. Stuffed in this pre-roll. Man. Perfect for a YouTube page. Oh yeah. Hold on, I'm literally rendering down <laughs> the visualizer. The visualizer is being rendered down as we speak. Let's just go straight live on YouTube. No games, no gimmicks. Right. Obi Trice, real name, no gimmicks. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Is, Ooh, oh, okay. That's oh, rendering oh. down. It is going down, guys. <laughs> I'm calling this. I'm calling this Mr. Composition, comma, the Capitol Building adds momentum to new music. Hashtag Project Forward. I got like, some good light. I got some good light. This is oh, natural yeah. light. Yeah, better light than. Hold on, I got. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, open, open this up. Open this up. Yeah, I, the I got <laughs> Um, oh, did I, did I go live yet? All right, go live. Boom. Preparing live stream. Preparing to live stream this meeting. Thank you, Cortana. I'm about to put that on. The gram. Can I throw images up in my stream? Preparing live stream. Preparing to live stream this meeting. Okay. I don't need to hear myself. Thank you. <laughs> what was I about to do? You know, can you even play videos in Zoom? I know you can do that with Be Live. You can do the share screen. Oh. But that's not the same. It shows up like oh files. Okay, you can do files. Google Drive. Bam. You can do Google Drive files? What does that even mean? <laughs> Portion of the screen, music only. Oh, that means I get to use the freaking Content from Facebook uh, studio. I haven't used that in a minute because I was freaking banned or suspended. But now I can do that. Creator Studio. Ooh, all right, let me share this this stream. But um, if you're watching, Mr. Composition has new music out. New music out, so we should talk about that. Um, and we will. <laughs> we will. So stick around. All right. Stick. Uh, round. I'm also going to be working, posting some stuff up. That's what we do out here in these streets. We be working. People be thinking, just be behind, just talking some random stuff or something. I don't know, but we out here really doing work. We got videos rendering. Oof. We got stuff being shared. Articles going out nonstop. Every day, we drop uh, this 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 blog post. I'm gonna drop it on the Idea Parties blog, and then I'm gonna share it from there to Facebook and everything. Like that. Maybe it's to come. No, but there's a bunch of, and then I'm gonna. You know, I was gonna post to Instagram from my phone, but I'm actually just gonna post to Instagram from my computer. So you guys are gonna hear lots of typing sounds. But I'm excited, this new album comes with that same energy. It's it's uh, not this new album song, this new record. Comes with that same energy, you know. Project Forward Music, when did Project Forward Music start? I don't remember, but. Um, oh man, this thing over here just tripped me out. This, this push pit. But um, yeah. anyway, it's dope to be able to, um, you know, boss up the music game, get in here. 
And they just miss the, the certain level of like release, like personal release. Like for me, mm. it's like I literally get um it's like I, I I literally get a release from it. Like it's just like I, I had to just speak it. You know, the energy was there, you know, um, and I'm just all like, yo, let me just it started off like me physically writing it in the journal, which um I'm normally doing I'm normally doing it on my phone just because it's usually I'm just like typing it in or I'll type it, I have an idea and then type it and then send it to myself and copy it in Evernote. But, you know, there's something about doing something different than what you normally do. And, you know, there's scientific reasons why, like, going back to physically writing, like if you're an artist and you have writer's block or different things like that, um, try or like, yeah, just try handwriting. You know, just handwriting your thoughts. And there's something oh, about yeah. that that frees it up, you know? So <laughs> when it came to this track, like, I, I'll i show y'all the, the lyrics in the journal, too. Like, while, while we at it, uh, literally, where's it at? Oh, yeah, it's right here. Snowed in. Mm. Let me see this. That's right. That's right. No, then, right. Composition blend stuff in the free, like literally. This is the first, the first verse going off to the the side there. <laughs> and so I did the first, I did the hook, and I did the verse, and then I typed it up, you know. And then I went through and finished the second uh, verse. I'm looking for the actual. It's the most recent thing. It is so that way, like people understand like how this stuff actually works. I could show y'all as much as even the the date that it was created. Um, let's see. So if I go to uh, note info, created Sunday. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it might be too much. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, Snowden literally went down um let's see where's the evernote let's see there we go snowed in y'all seeing the lyrics on evernote with a holographic freaking <laughs> rainbow effect but yeah that was ah, that was that was interesting because you know sunday in texas i don't think it was everywhere but it legit snowed like the last time it snowed was actually during our hwc event and it, it wasn't enough to like actually like stick you know but it did snow and this time it, it was there all day like legit but i got hit by like four snowballs for my brother like <laughs> he was just super excited and when I experienced snow for the first time, I was actually in Maryland and it wasn't a good experience for me because it's legit cold and I'm not physically picking up snow. It is cold. Like, you know, it's like you need a glove, you know, but yeah, that's, and so, yeah, it was snowing. So that was a rarity that it was, and it was so much snow that it was like, yo, I'm legit snowed in in Texas. Like that doesn't happen, you know? Like, so I was like, okay, let me, it, it just, as soon as I was just like, I had the chorus really in the melody before really having the, the beat. And then I kind of just put these, 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 these sounds together. And I was just like snowed in composition blend. And I'm like, oh, oh hold on, what's, What's going on with that? Because the verses was gonna be completely something different. You know, it was like, you know, snow then, composition brand, stuff in this pre-roll, light it up, light it up, stress-free, stress-free, let go. And ironically, it still is talking about as far as the verses, because when you hear all this political stuff, it's just, it could be very, like, you could be very anxious. You know, you could be very anxious and, it can cause anxiety, it could cause stress and depression, 
And the composition for those that don't know is a blended CBD pre-roll. And so CBD is known to alleviate stress, anxiety, pain relief, everything like that. So it's just all like, yo, even though it's the stressful stuff going on, it's just like snow and big composition blend stuff in this pre-roll lighted up, stress-free, let go. Stress-free, let go. And so it's like almost a meditation within itself, you know? I'll let you take over there for a second. You know, I had to, I was like, all right, let me dip out. Let me dip out. I went inside my time machine right here. I went to, I was at, I was in 1965. I was telling them, I was like, yo, composition is coming. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but no, no, that is super dope. You know, I, and you guys are lucky to get the whole breakdown from, from Mr. Composition himself. I was like, yo, this is fire content. I was just watching it like I was watching, uh, I don't even know, my own show. <laughs> um, but uh, no, that's super cool. I just um, I just wrote an article, shared shared this live stream. I, you know, I've never wrote an article for a live stream while it was going on and posted it. That's actually something I've never done before. So I posted the article on my Facebook profile on the fiercely supporting, shout out to San Antonio, fiercely supporting group um, in San Antonio, posted in there. There's lots of, I have, I have this Facebook group um, called fiercely supporting and um, for it's project four, it's project four Facebook group, I guess it's project four, we have this, this community Facebook group. And um, it's been so cool over the years, you know, you stay consistent in something, it's cool to see how many people post in there. Cheryl Metal from, you know, the radio station post in there. Shokari Nakpodia from uh, Dream Week post in there. B. Richter from, you know, for, you know uh, San Antonio media photographer from news organization. She posts in there. And, uh, you know, the group's been there for a long time and I foster it. Anyone who posts in there, usually I'll, I'll share some of their posts out to some of my other pages and stuff like that. Um, and it's cool, the consistency to see how that affects um, stuff. And um, that's what you're seeing here too with this track, Snowed In from- The visualizer just finished. <laughs> let's talk about, you, I heard, you, you, okay, you're gonna do this name change, you know? We, let's talk about it, you know, I think, or is it is it top secret? No, it's no, let's go for it, let's go for it. It's live now. It's too late. <laughs> I can cut it out. You can you can edit stuff on Facebook after. It's, um, but um, but it's interesting. It's interesting. Well, what what what's your thought process on it right now? How are you feeling about it? So, oh man. Um, just as a side, did you uh upload it under Mister Composition on the, for Spotify by chance? Yeah, it's probably not there yet though. Okay, no, no. I was just making sure. Um, but you know, the thing is that, see, that's the thing too. We got to talk about that as the, as the record label project for Bussini, um, Bussini, which powers project for now, if you're going to change your name, we got to do a whole nother investment. That's why we <laughs> don't really talk about it. Cause that means we got to open up a new artist account, which, which of course, you know, you're one of the most talented artists, you know, say Mr. Composition wants to change his name. That's cool. Prince changed his name a bunch of different times. It goes down. We understand, you know. We just gotta talk about it so that when we <laughs> when we put the investment in, you know, <laughs> it's a good investment. That's all. Um, it's gonna be a good investment, actually. That's guaranteed. But we just, you know, before I sign the paper, you know, gotta <laughs> do the report. I think what it uh, <laughs> what it boils down to, honestly, for me, is the fact that you know I grew up, you know, with the the hip-hop personas you know and not too many people took on their real name you know it was kind of like it was easier to take on the persona because just within yourself you can make that persona whatever but it's 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 not you you know and i think that I had gone through several changes of my my name from like Lil K. Yes, I had Lil K L I L K. Like super, 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 super long ago. 
Um, and then I had, um, I think it was Black Boy, and it was B-O-I. And then it was single or something like that. It was supposed to be like my name in, in some foreign language. I think Japan, actually. Um, and then it was that boy Prince, D-A-T-B-O-I-P-R-I-N-C-E. And then that birth, Mr. Composition. And I never, everyone told me my name was super dope. You know, but I think that it was uh, there was a certain trigger. You know, kids kids are very evil. Let me just tell you that because <laughs> freaking <laughs> when I was in elementary school, I would I had got um, at one of the schools I went to, I got made fun of for my last name, and they would call me Kevin Princess, and I was just like, this doesn't even make sense. It's like literally Princess. They're like. Kevin princess and I'm just all like so I don't know maybe there's just there was that but then I released the book with it I think what it was was I had to grow into being like I had to kind of like embody and embrace like me mm -hmm. and I think that certain artists when they make that name change it's like things start happening it was like that was the thing that was holding them back. and honestly it makes me think of the same thing on Creed you know, what was the thing that finally allowed for Michael B. Jordan's character to actually go through and actually get better was him embracing the Creed name. It's his name, you know, and yeah. it but it doesn't mean that you're not finding yourself. He had to do that first. That's that, that was the other half of it. It's like he's not going to be his father, you know. But, and I think that it's a psychology thing as far as you, like, you hear about the words forefathers and you hear that that lineage, you know, as far as that's a common thing between father and son sometimes is them trying to establish their own, you know, route and different things like that. And I think that for me, I went through and I had created Mr. Composition. I created all this different, you know, different personas and different things like that. But then I just realized how dope my real name actually is because now I have so much behind it that I've been able to do. It's just like, yeah, Kevin Prince is, is Mr. Composition and he is the author, he is the writer, you know, he is the traveler. And I just felt like embodying you know, me fully as far as that. And plus people by doing that, I have a whole catalog of Mr. Composition to convert to Kevin Prince in an age where I can put out nonstop content and I can just pick, you know, just the, the fire stuff. But, you know, the main thing it was, it, I felt like it was a maturity, um, it was a maturity shift you know, by being able, by going from Mr. Composition uh, to Kevin Prince, I just felt like there's the maturity, like I got, I can, there's still so much I could do with Mr. Composition. I can then take Mr. Composition and he has a whole sound, like think about that for a second. Like I can take what I created as, as this persona this can be the main character to books or series or anything like that. And now I have 10 plus years. No, no, yeah, I'm I'm right on the, you know, I changed, <laughs> I mean, I didn't change my name because Kenya is my name. It's also part of my name, but it is not my first name. But anyway, uh, it's also just the name of my business. Now, I think really all this stuff is more just creative property and you can do whatever you want with it. Because it's like, obviously I never legally changed my name. I did consider legally changing my name to Kenya, but the point was never for my name to be Kenya Latitan. Actually, the only reason I even started allowing the Kenya Latitan thing was because Get started publishing those videos and they were like Kenya Latitan. And I was like, well, it's screwed now anyway. I don't want to put Kenya X on Facebook, you know, because they make you have a last name or something like that. So I was like, I'll just put Kenya Lage around there, but that was never a really good idea. Kenya was always supposed to be like a separate thing. It's like, I'm obviously I have my name and then 
but Kenyo is my performing brand thing. But I think maybe my own communication wasn't ready to be sophisticated enough to be able to handle like the multiple channels. I was like, never mind. I'm trying to make money right now. It's Kenyo. Just think about Kenyo. The website's Kenyo. Everything's Kenyo. Don't even worry about the soul for now. He, he can, he can do whatever. I don't know. That's for me. <laughs> like all my family knows my name. It's not confusing. So it's just like, I got this for that. So no, I get it. And I think, you know, making that next step and, and uh, reformatting that is going to be interesting and cool. New steps ahead. It was making me think about something else. I can't remember. Plugging in the USA. No, it, it's, it's really... Man, it's really, really dope. Um, I'm like literally looking at all of the dopeness that is available for people. Wait, is this still going? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, no, it's, um, um, but yeah, that's like the, the main thing, like being able to embody that because i'm just all like now it's just the more uniform thing for me because it's just all like i got the books especially releasing books under kevin prince and of course i could have could have threw mr composition for the ideas of illusion as a as a book like a, a cool little you know book name as well like that's that's not you know off the table but um i think that no i think realistically looking at everything it's a i mean i got blessed with a really dope name you know so it's just all like why not there's power in your name you know when numerology you know you know they break down your you know your name and the different vowels and everything like that invocation of that combination you know unlock some stuff there it's definitely true. I think, yeah. I mean, ultimately, I feel like my, you know, my own, I don't know if it's an, it's not an ego thing. I, I describe it as ego, but I think it's more just like everybody gets to see what's going on as much as they can, right? We're, we're babies. Then you get the time as a baby. You're looking around, scanning, okay? <laughs> we all started off where we're, we're, we're doing equations, right? And then we, we start figuring some stuff out. We're like, okay, oh, okay. I see, but still we don't see. So we have more time. And, um, you know, it's interesting, you know, a lot of terms are so relative, you know, people will classify what they're doing relative to other people. And at times I do allow for that because it's functional, right? And, um, but I think when it comes to, and I know I'm being super confusing right now. So if you're not top level intellect, skip two minutes ahead because this is just for the phds for the phds only um <laughs> but you know i the the classifications of lifestyles and what people are up to i think it can be um confusing and looked at in so many different ways but at the end of the day i think that we all we, we all get to do the math and we all get to pick a route and you know what i love about the um the term mayor because i was what was i looking at i was looking at something if you don't know i'm just one of the things i'm doing in my life please don't even think about it as that big is running for mayor why is this the most important thing that i've done because it's the least small scale thing that i've done but um other than that you know it's just something that i'm i'm doing right now um but why i like it is because you know mayor in spanish also it means it just means like what older or better or something like that and i'm like that makes sense because my whole point the entire time in life is just to pick the best strategy and i think that a lot of times people think that there's something else going on but that's all there is there's just us since we were little kids we each get the ability to do the equations and figure out the math and while at certain times you consider, you might classify something as a tortoise move or a hair move, that's just the perspective of your microscope or the perspective of your telescope. You, you have no idea. They could be moving super duper fast or you have no idea. They could be moving super duper slow. You don't know really. Um, until certain things happen 
like someone becomes mayor and that every now and then you know i don't need to do it very often in my life but you got to show people what was the best strategy and i think a consistent strategy is the coolest and i think about you know when i think about an artist <clears throat> um who is very consistent and even with the i mean like because i think the name change is so cool because it is um consistently your move which is to focus on taking the art to the next level you know some people would have kept the mr composition and let the passion die mm. you know whereas the passion surviving is the only thing and people they they compartmentalize different things for priorities for for always for the wrong reasons and so you being able to be like yo i'm going to make this decision cuz even it, it it's just it's so interesting that someone would let that be a hurdle rather than making the decision right that's what that's what allows someone not to be able to be an artist or creatively empowered. You just decide not to make the decision, and all it needed was a is a, is a decision. You had to decide this, this, and this so you could get this out. But anyway, that's so cool. So so things could keep going on because if you're not going to acquiesce, you know, if you're not going to move, and you know, for me, it was always to bring it back. It was always about the path. Like I see a path that is the best moves. Why? I don't know. I started where I started from with, you know, the, the situations that I started from doing equations the way I did. But I know because it's the same brain patterns I had, you know, when I was like two, I felt them. No, I didn't. Not at two. At four, four or five, though, I was doing basically the same kind of math I do on a daily basis right now. I started kicking into gear around four. Four actually was my best years because that's when I was focused on dancing. That means I was really cued in. Somehow after that, I became a little bit too self-conscious because really, you know what? I've been inspired by Mr. Composition. I'm pivoting into the world of dance. I'm gonna, <laughs> release, I'm gonna start releasing dance volumes, volumes of Kenya's actually. <laughs> I'm completely joking, but that would be the dopest thing. I might actually start doing that. TikTok is so hard on dance. And I'm like, why don't I dance? And it is just like a feeling of awkwardness, but I don't actually feel awkward about dancing. I just don't think about dancing. So in any situation where I'm supposed to be dancing, it would be awkward, if that makes sense. But I'm like, if I was actually intentionally dancing for a performance, I could do that. Cause that's just acting. And I love to, I love to, I love to take action. And I have a variety of dances that I've been doing in secret for my life and, uh, and perfecting. I have this method of dance I call freestyle dance. I just leap around. I just leap around doing all sorts of things to music, um, fulfilling the, the <laughs> this is going deep. Anyway, um, let me round up a couple things about <laughs> this new album, but I hope you guys are, are seeing what I'm talking about here. It's the artistry. It's the artistry. You know, you can look at all this stuff however you want to, but you have to be an artist to put out a song. Yeah. You know, and you have to be a good artist to put out a good song. When you listen to Mr. Composition's music, you know, you just know that it's good music. He took it to that level and he does it consistently and he did it again with this one, this track, which is teetering on one of the last, oh no, I'm sure you're still gonna put out Mr. Composition albums. Are you gonna put out Kevin Prince albums? That would be uh, so dank if you like put out Kevin Prince albums and they all had like acoustic guitar. And, like, <laughs> it was like you know, the thing is that I yeah. can still do it hip hop, and I think that that. Yeah. that I'm just saying it would be cool if, for that. some reason, there was like a whole pivot to where like Kevin Prince is like he puts out like, um, like ballads. Like uh, <laughs> he's like right. I don't even want it anymore. <laughs> Like, oh, this is a whole, <laughs> this is nothing like Expendables. But, and then you drop <laughs> them, come back as Mr. Composition. And like, oh, I've done an acoustic version of it. I'm just joking. But yeah, you could, I'm sure you could definitely do hip hop. But I mean, it is really interesting. I think there's going to be a shift a little bit, you know, because I could see how the, an album as, that's actually really cool. It's inspiring. I kind of want to, you're making me think about putting out an album as, uh, Olu Busola Adyton now because it's like that might be cool just like I have Kenya albums but it's like an old you're actually inspiring that's actually a pretty gangster move right there because <laughs> like why not 
your whole legal name. Um, but anyway, so what else about this song? You guys go stream it. If you watched, what time is this? Or I might actually be clipping this part out for something. So um, go, uh, go stream Snowden from Mr. Composition. Um, you guys, you gotta get serious about your life sometimes, okay? You can't let every moment just pass you by, not really thinking about, hey, am I gonna seize this? Is this gonna be a conscious moment? Am I gonna dive into something real? Am I gonna make a decision which has the power to reorganize the system of chaos that I that I find uh, full of anxiety? Are you gonna do anything about it? First step is a, is a moment like this, where you can grab onto a song like this, dive deep into it, make a decision to be about something. So anyway, listen to Snowden from uh, Mr. Composition. It's out on all streaming platforms, Spotify, iTunes, um, Apple Music. Uh, what else do people listen to? YouTube, you can go go watch it on YouTube a few times. Um, and then it's gonna be on Bandcamp, I assume. So go buy it on Bandcamp. Um, yeah, that's it. That was, that was a little bit overboard, but. No, like, uh, oh, I didn't even get into the real meat and potatoes of that oh, okay. track. So this is actually a kind of political track, you know? That's um, true. And with what just happened as far as with Capitol Hill, um, and I was looking at the video, I was looking at, you know, everything, and I was just so, I was like, yo, if these were Black people, it would have not even gotten to this point. Like, there's no way in hell that they were publicly letting them know what was going down, and then the president adds the fuel to the fire, and they literally did what it is that they did. You know, they went on, you know, so many people during, you know, peaceful protests, which studies were showing, you know, even though a lot of people tried to say that, oh, the Black Lives Matter protests and different things like that were violent. The, the violence came from these fools having legit national guards and military out there, <laughs> you know, like who would it? We're out here for a peaceful protest. Not only that, you have crazy, uh, the Proud Boys and different things out there literally coming equipped to this peaceful protest, you know, full, like these, they got military weapons. How is that okay? And they stormed the place like they, this isn't the first government building that they're able to just randomly get through. You know, the thing is that I'm not going to, you know, the cops that were out there, you know, were very brave. I was seeing one that was like pinned, you know, to the thing and people have the nerve to sit up there and say that like the, the peaceful protest, not saying that every, Black Lives Matter protests or every protest is, is peaceful. But the thing is, that was straight up that you want to talk about savage, barbaric, different things like that. Well, that's a lot of what that was, you know, and the thing was that people did end up dead, you know, and this was all because you have a president who got into the White House on quote unquote <laughs> voter fraud, having the you know audacity to sit up there and to pull this stuff and then on the way out, continue to add more issues. So with the snow that was going on, you know, as far as in Texas, I was just saw like, yo, it's snowing on Capitol Hill not the weather in the sky, but the privilege on the ground. <laughs> if that crowd was mostly black or brown, military would have already been around. You know, like it's, it's taking as far as like the, that particular, you know, scenario. And I, it, it was just seeing a lot of the parallels and I'm just all like, all right, let me go ahead and drop my two cents on this. You know, I was just like descendants of the Washingtons and the Andrews, Andrew Jacksons and George Washington. You know, these, this is what we're looking at, the descendants of these people, you know. And so I when I went into 
as far as crafting this, I also wanted it to be a mixture of just the things that are going on in my head, like MF Doom just died, you know? So, you know, I literally started the second verse with, you know, now, you know, hindsight is really 2020, like 2020 is behind us, you know? And, uh, and going into a lot of the layers as far as in the second verse, um, I was talking about the privacy. I was just um, because the thing was with MF Doom, uh, for those who don't know, um, it was he had originally passed in on Halloween on October 31st, but we didn't find out the public didn't find out, you know, for 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 a whole two months, you know, which is completely fair and understandable. And that's what I put as far as in that verse like we understand your privacy unlike Zuckerberg you know we hear as far as everything that's going on with privacy and Facebook and everything like that and so I was just like you know we understand you know your privacy unlike Zuckerberg drop a tweet free the bird open press freedom word open chess protect your soul free our minds distractions are the warning signs navigating through these different timelines like these are all the different things that are going through my head you know and i'm just all like yo let me just weave it all together into this you know thing and it's a parallel between the actual composition cbd uh brand that i have you know this is a combination of things that i weave into a smoke that is that's realness that is realness you guys are blessed to hear a breakdown lyrical breakdown how many times do you guys get that from an artist at will you can come back and hear the lyrical breakdown you can go back and listen to the track that is super cool i know i'm gonna be uh i'm gonna be adding snowed into some playlists and i'm gonna be bumping it um consistently actually i need to do that soon but um I'm super excited for that. It's a little cold. That's why I'm doing stuff with my hands, but it's good to be expressive. But no, that is super duper cool, man. Power moves only over here, you guys. Project Forward Music, um, bosses only. Um, he likes <laughs> awesome. up on the whole game. Top culture only. Um, we got a lot of fakers out there, but it's not a problem. We just come to educate, not to, not 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 to instigate. So I'll keep it mild. <laughs> you know, um, and just let you guys know that it's really serious out here. Um, best moves only. Um, <laughs> I feel like I should include that. Um, you know, it, it, it just, it feels good. It feels good. You know, uh, Mr. Composition is also a CEO. You guys, uh, Dab Troll create, uh, Dab Troll Creations, Dab Troll Studios. Um, Go to dabtroll.com if you check. I mean, you don't even have to go there right now. He doesn't even need you. He doesn't need anyone to come over from this video. He's not doing this video because he needs people to come. He knows how to write articles. It's a whole media business. I'm just letting you know, um, best moves only, um, smart guy. Me too, um, obviously, um, you know, building, building media companies from the ground up um, with so much help, though, with so much help. But, and uh, I'll, I'll say my best move is, um, is keen awareness, keen awareness, you know? You, you see someone like Mr. Composition go by you and you know, openness and just flow, you know? Um, because it's like, you know, we just started working together slowly and then, you know, boom, um, four years later, you know, progressed, you know, together. He has an LLC. Yes businesses making cbd transactions people cbd transaction running his whole business um and my first one, right? virtually hit the pandemic he's doing what he's doing boom me years later more clients doing more business more web traffic than ever more and i got you know what you know what i want to say merit is cool because when you've both been on your journey, I've been trying to get to this main point for you guys. Then I got to dip because I'm going to do my interview with Janie, which is going to be dope. Maybe, I don't know. I think I need to cut my hair really fast or something like that. But um, what I was trying to illustrate is mostly 
pat myself on the back a little bit. When you have merit, it doesn't even matter if you've just been working and expanding. So many people don't work and don't expand and don't do anything. And you think you're going to get something for that. It's not going to happen. That doesn't mean that you missed out. You can still do it today. I'm just saying you're not going to get nothing from nothing. The reason why you don't have anything right now is because you didn't do anything three months ago. You can have something in three months, but you got to do something today. Right. Something, anything. I mean, that's the weirdest thing. Anything. I just did anything. I liked writing yeah, blog posts. Thing that I just like doing. I'm just I like, like <laughs> writing poems. I like making paintings. This isn't hard for me. I like doing websites. I was doing that before I realized that if rent wasn't paid, I'd be homeless. It was, that's just who I am. I just like doing it. And I expanded on it before it was a necessity financially. And so I had merit. And then, you know, getting to a point where, you know, Kevin, Mr. Composition was doing the exact same thing. So getting to a point where, yes, as people who have already excelled in merit, being able to come together on a, on a fusion thing to where, you know, I think about it as I have the best artists in San Antonio on a record label. I never even wanted to really start a record label. I don't know if that's getting through all the way to people. Like the level of moves that you're trying to make, most of them aren't even really moves until you get the merit. And then by the time you have the merit, you'll do a thousand billion more moves than you could ever imagine. You think Mr. Composition knew when he started that he was going to be doing wholesale CBD to, no. to businesses in other cities, that he was going to be performing that? I didn't, I never thought I was going to be performing poetry in Japan. <laughs> That's what I was thinking when I wrote down a poem. But if you don't have anything in the moments because you didn't do anything because you were like, oh, it doesn't really matter if you do it like this. Oh, that doesn't really matter. Oh, I, I got to do it like this. Shut up. <laughs> you're just looking dumb and you're in everybody's face and I'm tired of it. Only this year, though. That's why I'm running for mayor this year. After this, I might not care for another 10 years. Go get a cottage. You know what I'm saying? But I think there's so much that needs to be done. I'm going to be out here. I'm going to be out here, you know, because I really do love all the people who are doing really cool stuff. Janie Terrazas, who I'm supposed to interview with eight, in eight minutes, but Mr. Composition, this is a moment to focus on this super duper epic creation. Um, and I'm happy to be able to do it. Best moves only, boss moves only, massive moves only. I think I'm just gonna, I, I share this in an article, I'm DMing this to 50 people on Instagram immediately. I only do that when I'm feeling aggressive because I know it pisses some people off. <laughs> but whenever yeah. I'm like, I don't care, Nikki, we don't need to be friends anymore. Oh, I just said nigga. I don't say nigga on, on streaming. But uh, I did. That's this, it. Trump could get these nigga lessons. Like <laughs> no, but um yeah. Anyone that any that's the only time I use the word nigga. When I'm thinking about a personal fictitious antagonist. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, but anyway, yeah, I'm about to I'm about to DM this out. Um, but anyway, yes, I, let, let's wrap it up. Um, I think it's already wrapped up. So you guys, uh, it's not over. Go to go hang out with Mr. Composition on his website. Um, send him some emails. Send him some. You know, there should be a way where like people can like send you a a notification to a video chat or something like that. I like to go live. Like if people right. could request you live, like, hey, go live, go live. And then like, if you go live, not, cause it'd be weird if it was like a one-on-one -on -one thing and people could video call you. Cause like, I don't want to video call you. But if I can go live and I know at least one person's going to be there and maybe other people will jump in with them. That's kind of a cool thing. Someone should invent that. Right. Anyway. When I run for mayor, someone's going to pull this clip up and say he said, nigga, don't <laughs> go for him. But guess what? You know, if that's the one thing that, that I get against me, that's probably a little bit of controversy that I can overcome because I got a lot yeah, of I'm, much I'm larger hurdles on the way. So 100% sure that could definitely, <laughs> that could definitely be overcome. If that's it. <laughs> right? If that's the only one that has to be overcome. I can do a, a, a two hour apology speech. I have no problem. So, right. Anyway, all right, let me let me jump off this one. Kate Preezy, 
uh, for real now, because now you're re- I've been saying K crazy. Now it's even more accurate than it. Well, it's not like you officially did anything today, but anyway, Mr. Composition Snowden is 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 out. So I'm gonna let you get the last word. What do you want to say to oh, him? Man. Y'all go stream that. I just yes, join me. I'm gonna stop saying follow, but join me on these platforms: Instagram at graffiti mindson dabcho.com. Uh, mrcomposition.com, mrcomposition.bandcamp.com. And um, yeah, the Composition Wellness Solutions, get your CBD, get your plant medicine, and I'll holler at y'all. Thank you again, Kenyo, for allowing me to be on your platform. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Peace.